Hey, what's happening all you witches and wizards out there? I'm Deuce Disden, and I'm coming back at you again with another Owl House episode review. This time it's episode 15, titled Understanding Willow, where we finally get some much-needed backstory into the past of Amity and Willow. We saw this in the second episode, and I've been wondering ever since, what was it that divided these two characters? It's always fascinating to see what can come between two people. As we open up with Skara inviting Basha and Amity to her 15th birthday party, and they also make fun and question why Luz would choose once she enters school to actually be a friend of Willow. With Basha and Skara actually questioning the fact that Amity and Willow used to be friends, but Amity completely denies it, not wanting to associate with someone who was so unskilled, as she puts it, which paints Amity in a very bad light. I thought, you think that Amity was making so much leeway into headway into becoming a better person, but this episode, the start of this episode really brings it into question. We then cut over to Willow and Luz in a memory photography class where you can pull memories from people's mind in the form of photographs. However, they're delicate. You damage one of the photos, you damage the memories. And even more should something happen. But one picture in particular gains Luz's attention, the picture of Amity and Willow as friends. But Amity completely de Willow completely denies this picture, discarding it and going about her day. But as Amity and Basha pass by the classroom, Amity spots the memory and decides to remove herself from this equation, feeling that it's for Willow's best interest. Unfortunately, the fire spell that Will Amity only just learned a little while ago goes out of control and destroys even more of the memories. Meanwhile, Gus has a book report that he needs to do and is trying to figure out who he's going to interview for it. Unfortunately, this is interrupted by Willow completely losing her memories, and Luz immediately knows that this means something happened to one of the pictures, only to catch Amity red-handed destroying Willow's memories. So, they take the issue to Ida to figure things out. And Ida says that they'll need to go into Willow's mind in order to repair them. With Luz asking Amity to come along since she created the problem in the first place. So, she gives them a bell that will help them get out when the time arises. But also tells them to look out for Willow's inner Willow who should be able to help them on their quest to help the true Willow. So they enter into Willow's minds and find portraits that are symbolic representations of Willow's memories. And, you know, they go into a few of them and they find out that they need to repair any damage in those memories in order to bring them back to life. However, a running theme with a lot of these memories is Willow's inability to actually use spells. She can perform magic, but the magic she performs never goes quite the way that she intends it to. But when it comes to the picture that started it all, Amity completely disregards it and tries to push them into working on some of the other pictures instead. Meanwhile, when it comes to Gus's interview for his book report, King and Ida end up wanting to compete in order to f be the one who is written about in the report. So, a nice little moment that plays into both of their vanity. But, when it comes to Luz and Amity's side of things, the only picture left ends up being the one of Willow and Amity. But Willow completely does not want to be involved with that. So, 
having no intention of repairing that one. And Luz really wants to know what happened between the two of them that would have led to something like this. But this is interrupted when they notice that fires have broken out across Willow's memories and a massive fire monster seems to be ravaging the place. So, while Amity and Luz try to escape, they end up finding that Ida's a little preoccupied, and honestly, I love this shot of Ida. It is so fun. I, man, she, she has just this look that just really... Mmm, mmm. Let, let's continue. As Luz and Amity notice that it seems to be only destroying the pictures that contain Amity herself, the memories of Amity, and goes after Amity specifically. So they end up running into the first memory that they repaired, the one with the near the ocean, and they manage to trick the creature on an ice lake crate by Luz to dunk it in the ocean, only for it to be revealed that it is the inner willow who intends on burning down every memory of Amity. And when Amity and Luz question why the inner Willow would do this to herself, she brings up the old picture of Amity and Willow and brings them into the memory, where we see that during a birthday party, Will Amity had told Willow to leave her home, not wanting to be friends with them anymore, because Willow is so incapable when it comes to casting magic. With Willow saying that, you know, she was hurt that day and beyond with Amity's friends continuing to belittle her and demean her and bully her, so she decides the inner Willow decided that it would be better to just burn every memory of Amity, be completely done with it, because, you know, Amity burning the photograph was the catalyst for this, it was the thing that set the inner Willow off, wanting nothing to do with Amity anymore, but Amity wants to explain, and we see a memory of Amity's, one that shows that her parents didn't want Amity associating with Willow because of her inability to use magic. It wasn't Amity's idea, it was her parents, as she felt that a child of theirs should only be associating with upper class wizards and witches, not someone who can't even perform magic. Hence why Amity hangs around Bosh and Skara, because her parents demanded it, even going so far to threaten that if Amity did not break off her friendship with Willow, they would make it so that Willow could never get into Hexide School. So it just shows that Amity had no choice in this matter. But it's not that Amity, you know, disregards this or feels like this is an excuse. She feels that she was too weak to stand up to her parents and keep her friend. With the inner Willow kind of understanding to a certain degree, and at least having context for what happened, knowing that it wasn't just her, that it wasn't just Amity's choice, understanding where Amity was coming from, and choosing to keep those memories, the good and the bad, for better or for worse. And as Luz and Amity go about fixing the last of the photographs, restoring all of Willow's memories, the inner Willow and the childlike Willow bid them farewell, happy for everything. Finally getting their a sense of closure for the most part. So Luz rings the bell to get uh, Ida to let them out. Meanwhile, Ida has her own bit of disappointment as Gus has chosen to write his report about Hootie because while Ida and King are in fact deeply interesting, the Owl House which houses them has to be twice as interesting because of that. And so Ida gets Luz and Amity out of Willow's memories, Willow wakes up and remembering everything, including what Amity had done, and while she still doesn't think that they'll, they'll be friends. She feels that there's at least a start to them mending their broken relationship, hopefully somewhere in the future. And Amity accepts that and leaves. 
deciding that from now on she's going to choose her own friends for the most part. You know, and not the ones that her parents chose for her. Meanwhile, Gus ends up uh, getting the full hootie treatment and leaves in frustration. Poor guy. He could have, should have warned you about hootie. Nobody likes hootie. But I love hootie. <laughs> he's the titular owl house and he's like the most... <laughs> He's treated as the worst character possible, but I'm glad we finally got development in terms of Amity and Willow's relationship. A little bit of, you know, a, this confrontation that was able to just cause things to move along and just go past this and hopefully our characters can move forward and move on from the resentment and animosity they've had towards each other. And I hope that Amity keeps her word of not allowing her friends, so-called friends, to continue to bother and belittle Willow at every turn. You know, Willow didn't, Amity didn't join in on this, but she did kind of demean Willow at certain turns, you know, especially when she first appeared, but at the same time, I guess she was just going with what she thought was right because of her parents, you know, that's the thing about when you're a kid, you sometimes believe that what your parents believe is the right thing, and sometimes it really isn't. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you feel about this backstory? Do you feel that Amity should be forgiven? Do you feel that ultimately, you know, you understand where she was coming from? Or do you think she should have fought a little bit harder for her friend? I mean, she was only a little child. Can you really blame her for that? Or do you feel that ultimately they should have at least, Amity should have explained at a later date? Or maybe she didn't feel that, you know, it was a good enough excuse. It's not like she tries desperately to fight back against what Willow feels against her. She just wanted her to have some context for what she did. And I'm glad at least that Willow understood at least. You know, I, I hope they can go back to being somewhat friends in the future. But I wonder what's going to happen in terms of Mr. and Mrs. Blight. Obviously, there's a lot going on when it comes to them. And I wonder if they'll be an antagonistic force sometime in the future. But tell me your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Like, bell, subscribe, whatever you feel. And until next time, I've been Deuces Din, and I will see you later. Bye bye